Ciao ragazzi di Autun, dammi qui per voi. Hi man, how are you doing? I'm doing good. How yeah. are you? It's a bit early in, uh, in the morning. It's too early for talking. Yeah, but we try, okay? Absolutely. Uh, so I'm asking you to introduce to our viewers uh, your project, your band, uh, your good new record. Um, we're called Damen. I'm I sing and uh, play guitar and write songs for the band. Uh, we uh, have an album coming out called Love Is Gone. It'll be out in February, and um, we'll be touring through Italy too uh, with Lacuna Coil. So uh, come out and see us. And uh, what can you tell us about this record? How what are the main interests that it's part of to write? Uh, how many interests in the music specifically, in the sound, and so on? Mm -hmm. um, it's I usually call it dark rock music. Yeah. Um, so it's it's definitely what? like it's definitely rock and roll. It's not it's not necessarily metal. It's not you can't really categorize it as goth music or anything like that. But people usually say it's it's rock and roll, but it's definitely got a dark edge. The content is kind of dark. From where it comes, you know, this dark edge. Is it's dark atmosphere. It's really all um, personal experience. Oh, um, really? The music is definitely. Um, autobiographical you know it's, it's all things that I've gone through it's things that I that happened to me and so I'm taking those kind of tragic moments and turning them into something really uh, powerful and positive yeah so. so there's a translation between negative uh, things and uh, through positive ways to, to from life yeah, to you know, things because people usually say like oh it's it's dark music but it's not depressing um, and usually like I think the best response to that is, yeah, like the content is dark. You know, it's about it's about tough times. It's about like trying times. It's yeah. about bonds that have been broken. You know, but um, the very fact that the songs exist is kind of a testament to victory. It's yeah. a testament to um, strength. So, um, so yeah, I hope these songs come across as um, emboldening and not something that's like you know. Or me, um, yeah. sad or something. So it could be a positive message also to your fans. Absolutely, yeah. I mean, most people, um, I think, I think that's the evidence is that people tend to write to me or, or meet me at shows and mm -hmm. tell me that you know it helped them through you know, nice. hard times, but divorces, jail, yeah. bad relationships. So I think the very fact that um, when you write stuff that's personal like that people feel like they're not alone because I, t I think people when they go through tough times tend to feel misunderstood or like the only ones or whatever yeah and I think when they know that there's somebody else out there that kind of speaks for them in the same way it, it, it's uh, helpful yeah. okay uh, do you already have a target for your music and I mean uh, very young people young girls or no I mean there's nothing by age or anything like that I think it's really just for people who are music lovers, you know, people who can appreciate melody and uh, songwriting and passion, you know, yeah. and I think that could be everybody, you know, unless you just don't like music or, yeah. or you don't like rock music or something. You know. I think ge generally, like, when I, people, when I watch who comes to our shows, it's not one kind of person. Yeah. You know, you have people, different. there's, you know, it's, it's kind of funny because, like, you know, a lot of times, bands that are in a similar genre as ours, you have the girls that come and they bring their boyfriends, you know? Yeah. <laughs> and so, um, you know, I can't tell you how many times there's been these like big kind of like hardcore metal guys and they'd be like, my girlfriend dragged me here, but <laughs> but actually I'm really glad I came because I like you guys a lot. Oh, cool. And I think it's because there's a still, with our music, like it's about love and relationships and kind of stuff we all go through, but there's still like, I think the appeal is there's still a bit of attitude. Yeah. You know? So. You are uh, you are just beginning your your journey through through music. Uh, do you already have uh, an objective, an artistic objective? What you would like to leave uh, to the music, to um, the music world, to the music fans? It's funny that even though we're just starting, like we've been doing this for so long, yeah, like probably for a decade. Um, but I think for me, and I think for most people, you want to just make music that's um, relevant and and stands the test of time you know I think sometimes we can hear music I'm sure like a lot of times in pop music because pop yeah. is always very uh, specific to current time you know? uh, 
and sometimes you can listen back on that and be like, oh, that sounds horrible, or whatever. And I think you kind of hope that you're writing songs that 20, 30 years from now people will still look back on and find mm -hmm. interesting yeah. and, and listenable and likable. And so I think... Is that an omission from your mind? Well, I think subconsciously maybe. I don't think about it all the time. For me, I'm always just trying to do what's right for the song. I'm trying to make sure that it's that I'm putting my heart in it and passion behind it. And like that's all I really think about. But I hope the things I don't think about, I still hope, is that it's still relevant and it's still something to be remembered you know, years.